guys, welcome to our brand new channel. And today we are kind of reacting and doing at the same time of this Mr. Happy, Mr. Happy, Mr. Happy 0121 How to Make Mountain Dew Gummies, which went viral with almost 3 million views. Yeah, so Tavis said to me today, showed me the video this morning and said, uh, let's make these for Valentine's Day. <laughs> so uh, as we're doing that, we're analyzing this guy's video and, you know, we kind of found a couple things that were confusing about it. So we thought we would make a video making the Mountain Dew gummies as we consult with the YouTube channel version over here. And uh, just get a little feedback. We started with a video, and uh, our instructions were to take three packets of this gelatine, he calls it. I've always called it gelatin, but, you know, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, I, I appreciate clarifying that in case it was confusing, so thank you for that. Um, we had to do a little mathematics just to check and see um, if our master Mountain Dew gummy chef had all his stuff on so he was good with this his measurements seemed pretty good um, but but then what he said he'd grab something that looked a lot like this and just said um, put a half a cup of water in which looks a lot like this that's a half a cup of water it's a pretty small amount I just looked at the amount that the guy had which was up about to about there Half and a it, cup, and exactly. I just looked That's at it, and I kind of intuitively knew because I'm so smart in the kitchen that that was more than half a cup that he had in his. So then we had to kind of figure it out um, on how much water to actually put in. It was kind of a gamble, so we just kind of tried to eyeball the size of his pan. So we put a cup of water in, <laughs> and uh, ours isn't doing the same thing as his. So, <laughs> it wasn't, after 10 minutes, his turn's hard. So we added another, we added the last packet, and still, it's not rock hard, so it's been like half an hour just sitting out on the counter like this. So then we kind of watch the video again and think, maybe it really was a half a cup of water. <laughs> that, that is not half a cup of water. He we does not to, know what he's talking about. We can't about. pause it well enough to actually White see the numbers on there. Gelatine, not gelatin. Very okay, similar. let's bump ahead to where we are in the whole process here. That takes a few minutes, so we're going to let this sit for 10 minutes. And now it looks like right a different amount of water in that. Hey, everybody, we're back. My assistant finally got out of bed, so he is here to help. Ours does not look like that at all. No. It's now been 10 minutes. It looks so like this on a medium flame. it looks like a gummy bear in a pot already. Which would be a medium flame. Ours is not. Uh, he said medium heat, which on his was five. Ours is on five. Okay. Uh, kids, please have your parents help you with this part of the program. Okay. At this point, this has been on about. <laughs> now I'm sure your question is, why do we need to have the heat? Let it harden. And then turn it back to a liquid form. That's my question. Just easily moments ago, um, had it in a liquid form and poured it into the soda. I tried it that way, and believe it or not, it doesn't work. Yeah, but because this is why the instructions on the box. The gelatin once you've heated it, turned it back into a liquid. That's important for what we're doing. True. And I'm gonna pause it there. Okay. Because. The instructions on this box, which I have used before to make things like jam, which also turned kind of hard like gummy bears-ish, says to mix this with boiling water. He could have gone straight to putting it the water in the pan and that he didn't have to do the gelatin stage first. That's what he said, right? Yeah. You're wondering why I have to turn to gelatin first. Mm -hmm. And he said, well, believe it or not, once you add heat, it changes it. So it's essential. But what if you just added heat in the first place? Yeah, because that's, that's anyway, what the box is. It's not clear. It's not clear. We are about to find out. We have turned into the it is now baking a nice busters. Liquidy form. We're going to put this into a measuring cup. Okay. And remember, kids, have your parents do this part. Always be careful. 
That's more than half a cup. It's a tiny hey guys, fish. we're back. Okay, they're back. They didn't. Go very far they didn't they... The we're now going to take the Mountain Dew in this case. Okay, so we can get this part ready. We are not we're using so Mountain dead. Dew. Mom, we're dead. No, we're not. I shook it. Did you? Yeah, I don't. Why did you do that? Okay. Okay, no, no, no. We're not ready. Okay. So, we're totally not following the recipe here because it's no one Mountain cares. Dew gummies. And, um, we're using root beer. Yeah, because... Who cares? Root beer has to be healthier, right? It's got roots in it. Well, I actually bought this amazing juice, this organic pomegranate cherry juice and so I was thinking that we should make this out of that so I didn't buy root beer at the store this is what I bought because then at least I'd feel better about making this candy and then I said no we need to get root beer okay so we're gonna make something totally different than and I have no idea what's gonna happen with these things like I think we're just gonna have jello like I think we're gonna have root beer flavored jello Wow, well, it looks exactly the same that, like it did before. It uh, looks different when he does it. Yeah, because the first, our first stage went wrong. Yeah. We're just following yeah, through with it to see if it's going to work. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yep, that's our plan. Okay. Yep, yep. yep. <laughs> so we're going to nail this. Yeah, this does not look as red as a cherry or a pomegranate. Yet, so yep. guess, guess what, they put apple juice in it, I bet. Yeah, apple juice. Okay. A false advertising. A hundred percent juice. Okay. Uh, actually, that's backwards, but okay. who cares? It's liquid. I have to make another choice here. And my choice is going to be the da, da, da. Okay. So we're going to try and mix both of these and see which one works out better. Obviously, this one has a lot less bubbles because it has no bubbles. Okay. Okay, so we're just waiting for uh, the dough. So, so, it boiled. Now what? First he pours it in here. Think. First he pours it in here. Okay. You know what? I really hate to admit this, but I think I'm totally out to lunch. I think it was half a cup he measured with. Because I have so much more than he does in his cup. Okay. This is not scientific. Okay. Wait. Okay. <laughs> Wait, it's not. Wait, wait, wait. Don't pour it all in there. This is definitely not doing the same thing that his video is. Failing here, I think. <laughs> and you know. <laughs> we don't pour it all in. We have no idea what we're doing. Yeah, <laughs> we have absolutely. Okay, we have to turn this back on. Just experimenting. I learned the hard way that this creates little well, you'll see. Well, you'll see. Were we supposed to not let it be warm? His glass is like almost overflowing right now just by putting in like a drizzle. And ours had no reaction at all. But he didn't say to let this cool. I'm going to come over here and get this spoon. Hopefully you put it in the pot. Now. I want to mix this. Okay, he's mixing it. Wait, he's mixing it with the back of a wooden spoon. Okay. You know, I just say pour the rest of the gelatin in it. You know? What are we gonna do with that? I'm gonna need this stuff right here. Even if this did make gummy bears, yes, I'm aware it's probably gonna this is just I have no idea. We rock. I think it's gonna be the normal time they Disgusting. say is four hours. I found that it is. Oh yeah. Listen. Within ninety minutes, this is pretty much ready to go. Ninety minutes. Okay. Hey, so far. Looks like. I I think maybe we can't follow instructions. Okay. We happen to have a mold right here. We're gonna have the assistant try this and tell us what it tastes like. Just happen to have a mold here. We totally didn't get get it just for this. Uh, it's got hearts on it because it's Valentine's Day tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. If this thing made gummy bears, do you know how many gummy bears this would make? A lot of gummy bears. Like, probably a hundred gummy bears. Yeah. At least. <laughs> They'd make a, like a cellar on gummy, heart gummy bears. Okay. Don't fill them all because we're going to try some pomegranates. 
And then it only takes four hours to... So we should have this whole batch made by next Valentine's Day. <laughs> I don't know if you can see. Tash is selecting a very wonderful job here. Okay, so luckily I have another trusty one of these things. Okay. Wow. It seems like it's my first time in the kitchen today, but that's okay. So, Tavish. I'm going to find a spot in the fridge for this. Okay. Oh, okay. Right on the bottom. How about and How's that? Is it? We're not going to be able to carry this. That's really neat. So. Well, it's okay. Just trying to just fill the whole thing. Out. So wibbly. Wibbly doobly. Wibbly do. Where the. Oh. <laughs> wibbly doobly. Ah! Wibbly doobly. It's in there. Okay. I guess we just wait, right? Yeah. We'll just, see. just wait. Okay. Okay, so it's been about two hours. Two hours? About three hours. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's been about three hours. And just turn it to jello. Jello. <laughs> Yay. Try it. That this one isn't completely jello yet actually. This is the rippy one. That tastes exactly like rubber. Except I think the fizziness has kind of gone away. The fizziness isn't really there anymore. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good. Like, I'll finish the rest of this. I wouldn't. Really? Mm -hmm. I think it's sounds not quite right. Well, it doesn't taste like regular Jello. It doesn't have that slippery. It's a little bit more like. I'm pretty slippery in your mind. Yeah, exactly. It's like a mix between gel and pudding, kind of. Mm, yeah. Yeah. It's not really gummy though. It's jello. Like, he, put, he puts it in the bottom as gummy Mountain Dew or something. But it's, Oh, he doesn't put gummy bear? No, he just puts gummies. How to make Mountain Dew gummies or something. Gummies, yeah? I think mean, about like gummy bears, like candies. You know, it's like in the chewy. Okay, so this is our mold. What do you think will happen? Put your hand over here. See if we, one can pop into your hand. Don't do that one, do one of the other ones because we did a little bit more root beer ones. Well, why not? Let's just try one. Of, yeah? Yeah, do Let's root beer one. Hey. Okay. Fine. Put your hand out there. Hmm. You've broken hmm. it. Hmm. Well, we didn't get to see the shape there. Mm -hmm. Have other presents we're giving our family for Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. We're having like a My Secret Valentine. So Tavish thought maybe he'd make these gummies, like gummy candies, for his uncle. Yeah. So that is all for this video, and I'd like to say thanks to Mr. Happy for the original idea, and I'll put the link to my channel, her channel, and Mr. Happy's channel in the in the description below. So and uh, you know I think this is pretty fun actually I yeah. think we kind of looked at the list of Mr. Happy's recipes and I think we're gonna try a few more you know mm -hmm. pretty precise directions on this one so yeah. um, what could go wrong you know I think everything could go right we'll just go super right yep yep and uh, this is gonna be uh, on the Valentine present tomorrow yeah so thanks Mr. Happy and and assistant. <laughs> so, we'll see everybody later.